If you would like to see what made this mess in the shop, then stay tuned to find out. Welcome to the wood shop everybody happy sunday uh so what made the mess what made the mess was something i wanted for a long time uh for the wood shop uh something i've never used before until yesterday so this is a totally new thing for me and so what i got was a wood lathe so i'll give you a little quick tour here it's is a nova comet 2 um, mini lathe uh it's made by a new zealand company in China, of course, uh, but they make a lot of different lathes. This is one of their smaller lathes, but it is pretty powerful. It's got a, a three-quarter horsepower motor on it. A lot of the other ones have half, um, and this one's a little stronger. Um, and it came with a really nice, this is called the G3 uh, chuck, and uh, it, hold, it will hold things, screws here on the end, and it will hold things either on the outside or the inside. Um, and so ne next time I'll do a video and we'll uh, go a little more in depth of that if you're interested you can watch that and uh, but anyway came with everything you see it's got the uh, spurred center and then of course it has a live center um, let's see let's give this thing a turn and, and we'll show you and there it is look at that variable speed we can uh, just speed her up here it's just pretty smooth Pretty smooth. And it does have forward and reverse, and of course it's variable speed. Uh, tool rest, of course. Um, all this is movable. It does have a, you can get an optional uh, bed extension, uh, so you can make longer items. And um, of course I've got my tools there. They're pretty nasty. I forgot to blow them out. But anyway, there's all the tools that you have to work with. And of course if you have tools, you got to have something to sharpen it with, I have discovered. Um, and so I've uh, been doing a little, sometimes you have to sharpen it on the fly. So I've turned a few little things. And I turned this. This is dogwood. Uh, this is the same. This was cut off of this log. And I've already smoothed this one up. And so it's kind of chunky. That was my first attempt at that. And then, of course, I made a bowl. you got to make a bowl. And you'll see here, this is the part that I grabbed with the chuck. And I'll show you more about that later. We'll do a separate video on that, but I thought the little cedar bowl, and I did not, that's the natural color. I just put a little tunnel on it. And then of course you gotta have a little bits and pieces. It's got a screw on face plate. Uh, it also has a wood worm screw, they call it. And this fits in the chuck, and you can actually screw things up to hold. And then of course you got all your things to loosen the chuck up, and the little bits and pieces there. So uh, there it is. Um, all that stuff there. So anyway, we'll be doing some turning in the wood shop, some turning videos coming up. So uh, we're excited about that. And uh, Cole has already requested a baseball bat, and I told him I do not have a long enough lathe to turn a baseball bat at this moment. So he, he says we need to buy the bed extension so we can make baseball bats. Uh, so I don't know. <laughs> we'll just have to see about that. I think we're going to stick with some bowls and stuff like that coming out of here. So uh, there it is. And uh, so we'll be working on that. And... Um, so hope everybody has a good rest of the weekend, or you had a good weekend whenever you see this. And um, appreciate you stopping by the wood shop, and look forward to some more turning videos. So take it easy.